What's up guys, Sean here with Briar Home Buyers, and today we're gonna answer the question, what if I can't sell my house during a divorce? Uh, so a divorce can be pretty complicated, it can be expensive, and it can be very time consuming. Uh, basically, a lot of people in my family have gone through a divorce, so I understand this dynamic. It's a pretty rough situation, and especially if kids are involved, it's never pretty. Uh, you have to split all of the equity within the house, and the property and then you have to uh, figure out what happens if it doesn't sell or how you're going to sell it. Um, so a reason that may not sell could be market conditions. Uh, depending on what time uh, within the market cycle you are selling your house for the divorce, uh, it could be a good time, it could be a great time, or it could be a really bad time to sell your house. Uh, some other things that may come into play with having trouble selling your house is the conflicts between the two parties or three. Uh, the person buying is one and the two people selling. Uh, obviously at this point in time they're not really getting along and it's hard to figure out uh, who's going to do the repairs, who's going to pick the agent, who's going to work with the agent, and who's going to accept the terms and on the price that they're going to sell it for and do all the negotiations. Uh, each person wants the most money and they want to have the, the scenario that benefits them the most. So it's hard to figure out who's going to be dealing with all these uh, negotiations and selling of the property. Uh, but then also, uh, how are you guys going to uh, negotiate side by side as a team to sell your property uh, to somebody on the other end? Um, it's going to be kind of difficult unless you are actually getting along during your divorce process which is unlikely. Um, so that could cause some delays in selling your property. Uh, you have added cost when you have delays from selling your property. You have to pay the mortgage uh, on that property. And then, so you have the home that you both lived in and then you're splitting up and you both, or one person's either living in there or you're both moving out. So now you have two or three mortgages that you're having to pay or rent and it's a big cycle of I guess expenses that are going out that are costing you a lot of money. You also have the utilities on that property and the taxes on that property. Um, if you're doing a lot of negotiations and work, uh, meeting with your attorneys, you have attorney fees that are adding up, you have your taxes, mortgage, utilities, uh, all these things just snowball kind of. You're already in a tough situation uh, it's just going to get tougher the longer that your property sits on the market and the longer that you try to sell your property. Um, so also something to be aware of is that uh, once a buyer is aware that it's a divorcee group selling the house, uh, it could scare off potential buyers. Uh, they realize that there are struggles on the selling side. And maybe some people don't want to deal with that. Uh, they don't want to deal with the miscommunication, the arguments, uh, the delays, the not getting along. Uh, a lot of people don't really want to deal with that. They want a smooth trans transaction. So uh, a good strategy for selling your house during a divorce, if you want to sell it quickly, is selling through a home buying company uh, like Briar Home Buyers. Uh, the benefit is that you can sell direct. Uh, you can close within 7 to 30 days. You can close really quickly. Uh, you're not going to get fair market value for it. Uh, typically, home buying companies have to buy a discount so that they can do the rehab and renovations and they can fix up the property and bring it to market value. So you have to be aware of that. Uh, you're not going to get full retail price going this route. Uh, but you are going to be able to sell quickly and get cash uh, for your house, which does save you money in the long run. So if you're going to, going to look at it as, I want to get as much money as I possibly can, so I'm going to go with an agent. What you're going to run into, like we discussed before, is all the costs. You have the, you're going to put the property on the market for as high as you can. So therefore, you're going to have to repair the pro property, uh, renovate it most likely, and get it up to market condition. So you're going to put money into the rehab and renovations and the repairs you're going to have holding costs. So you're going to pay the mortgage, utility, taxes. Uh, you're going to have to pay agent commissions. Uh, so the, the higher amount that you sell your property for, the larger the commissions are. So a lot of people don't take all of this into account. You may actually come out better 
if you do sell to a direct home buyer. Uh, just something to consider. Uh, figure out what strategy works best for you. Uh, but if that does sound like something that's gonna work for you, we're able to come in and help you all out. Just give us a call. Uh, we'll talk about what your options are or fill out a form on our website. The link is below. and We'll get in touch with you and help you solve your problems uh, of selling your house through a divorce. Uh, thanks, guys.